Hello everyone. Today, we'll learn how to create a shopping bag mock-up in 3ds Max. First, create a box. I'm making a box with dimensions of 20 by 60 by 40. Set the length and width to have two segments. Now apply the Edit Poly modifier. Delete the face as shown in the video. Select the edges, connect them, and set the distance to negative 40. Delete this edge and connect the vertices using the Target Weld tool as shown. Now select this edge and drag it along the x-axis. Next, select the front face, press Shift, and scale it down to create an inset. Reposition the face as shown. In the Polygon section, click Geopoly to create a perfect square. Then select the edge, ring them, and connect them. Do the same for the vertical sides. Now, select the inside edges and scale them to create a circle. Delete the selected faces. Add the symmetry modifier. Enable the X and Y axes, then flip them. Apply the Edit Poly modifier again. Select the edges as shown. and apply a slight chamfer to them. Now, add the Turbo Smooth modifier. Next, we'll create the handle. Simply make a 2D arc shape.
Convert it to an editable spline. Reposition the shape as needed. Select the end vertices and shift drag to extrude them further. Now select these vertices and apply fillet to round them smoothly. Add an edit poly modifier to add more details. Apply symmetry again, but this time, enable the Z-axis. Adjust the gizmo to position it properly. Apply the shell modifier to give the model some thickness. Now select both the handle and the bag and group them. Apply a 2x2x2 two by two by two FFD modifier. Select the top vertices and scale them down along the Y-axis. Now open the group. Select the bag and apply the Unwrap UVW modifier. Select all faces and give them a box projection. Click on Quick Unwrap. Go to Mapping and click on Flatten Mapping. Hit OK. In this example, I only need the front and back sides of the bag. The other sides, along with the inside, will remain white for this demonstration. So, I'll select the front and back faces and drag them aside. All other parts will be grouped on the other side. Now adjust the front and back sides to ensure they are identical. Go to Tools and click on Render UVW. Save the UVW and open it in Photoshop.
I'll quickly apply a white texture to the entire map and place my logo or design on the front and back sides of the UVW map. For this example, I want the front and back to be black, so I'll use a brush to paint them black. Be careful not to disturb the edges. Once that's done, apply the texture to the bag. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.